Why'd you fire Chase? Sure thing. First, you tell me the results of the PET scan. Did you fire him for me? Would you stay if I did? You asked him to fire Chase? No! Yes! You're frustrated with Foreman, so you lash out, kick the dog? He's not gone five minutes and the name calling starts. What's on the PET scan? Why'd you fire Chase? Do you know what's on the PET scan? You two out. Whoa, wait! What's on the PET scan? You can't dump your entire department just because you don't know how to deal with an issue. Yes, they are all irreplaceable. Only in this country had figured out a way to somehow teach people to interpret PET scans. What the hell's wrong with you? You fired Chase? I don't suppose you know what's on my patient's PET scan. I told you to show Foreman you have a heart. How does that translate into you being a bastard? So that's a no. Pick up the phone and tell Chase you made a mistake. Unfire him. Chase, if you know what's on the PET scan, call me back. Cut the crap. Chase is a good doctor. Sorry, you're in the wrong room. My name on the door, my team, my decisions. My building, my floor, my people. Hold that reprimand. House. Dr. Chase, how are you? Thank you. You are indispensable. Um, uh, you're still fired. Sorry. Well, oh, that was awkward. PET scan revealed a blood clot in my patient's arm, which means goodbye. Still got two people working for me. Gotta get one of them to do my job. A clot means a heart problem. We have to do an emergency ambulance.